Good morning, Nuggets. It is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance, and we are going to get into the general energies for the day. Um, let me light this Palo Santo real quick. Again, I did it before I came on and it went out. I hope you all are well. I hope everyone slept well. I hope you had a productive day. Be mindful to protect your energy. Happy birthday to one of my Leo family. I won't say her name, but happy birthday, love. either you or your mother catch this one. Happy birthday. Alright. Okay. So, let's get into it. We'll do uh, TT's Music Oracle. Let's see what we got going on. It's cloudy outside and it's a little drizzly so we are inside today okay all right okay well, this is what we have we have is it the Jacksons it is the Jackson 5 I want you back okay and our underlying energies we have two because I saw both of them, so I'm going to take both of them. The first one is Someone Like You by Adele, and the other, Auntie Erica, Next Lifetime. So, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so... This is you getting back to what it is that you desire, what it is that you want and wish to have in your life. This is trying something again. I'm hearing um, new kids on the block. Um, let's try it again. Um, this is... Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> Y'all know my squirrel babies are distractions, but anywho. This is getting back to basics, getting back to what you know, and um, this is something that you're, you're, you're revisiting, okay? You're going to revisit. Um, again, this could be um, you and a person, or this could be you... Um, picking up a hobby that you once had and you're like well I'm gonna try that again take it how it applies but this this speaks to I have been hearing Erica Badu's Mama's Gun several songs all week so just go take a listen to that but of course we know what that that song next lifetime is it's um um she is in a relationship already, but she finds or is found by her soulmate. And um, they vibe on a, on a high frequency, but it is not meant to be at this time. So um, this is the underlying energy. So maybe this was something that um, you had taken on before and you tried it but it was not the right time at that particular time and you were you know I guess searching for the equivalent I suppose but we're going to try it again Okay. Woo, that's interesting. Take that how it applies, Nuggets. 
let's get um, a wild unknown animal. I have to be honest, right now my, my energy is so looking forward to the um, cardinal signs that I'm getting ready to get into today. I am excited for the messages to come through. Guy's got a lot he's been talking about. I have been, the day has gotten started a little later for me because I have been in uh, deep meditation and uh, there's been some, uh, there's been some astral travel and telepathy and stuff going on. So yeah, it's, it's God has been talking. I hope you guys are grounding yourselves as much as possible when these energies right now are coming through because it's a very, very powerful time. And it is um, a very, very, you know, this is, this is that such a time as this energy. This is some of, uh, some of God's children having been on the backside of the mountain for a while and getting that understanding and training and, and learning and getting those energies and those downloads. And now it is time for some of us to come forth. So um, be grounded, be um, authentic, and um, follow God's lead. You have angels and ancestors and um, people who are, who are actually in the flesh that can lead you to or help assist you with your purpose. It is just you paying attention to the um, that inner knowing, that inner voice. Hold on, guys. Okay, our card of the day fell on the floor. Ah. So this is the firefly. This is... Um, having an epiphany, getting an idea. This is that 15 minutes of fame. This is that um, bright idea or opportunity that just comes out of nowhere. And uh, it's time for you to, to take some action on it. The spotlight is on you. You have the floor. What do you have to say? What's that idea that came to you at three o'clock in the morning and you just you know wrote it down or you just um didn't even really um bring it out into fruition um but it's time for you to move on it underlying energy Ooh, it's the scorpion the scorpion speaks to um um, withdrawal and um, being in a space of um, that energy of having been on the backside of the mountain and being having been that uh, that wounded warrior that it's you know it that there's been there's been blood okay there has been sweat and tears and um, there's been some times having been backed into a corner but you come out with this jewel that is you hmm? that jewel that is you let's um, we, we have this energy. We know what this energy is. We are allowing that to, we're coming out of that. That's that recluse energy. We're coming out of that. We are now going into this new age, new earth, new stage, okay? Firefly, inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. The firefly contains the light of a thousand stars. It's pure, radiant, and illuminating. This high frequency charge cannot be contained for long. Therefore, the firefly card 
indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There is firefly energy behind every poem, song, and invention. Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it graces our path. What can you do to support this precious and elusive light? When in balance, writes, creates, brainstorms. When out of balance, burnout feels dull. To bring into balance, write a poem or draw. So just be creative. Be creative. Whatever that idea is, move on it quickly. Don't sleep on it. Don't be afraid of it. Take the opportunity. It does not even have to be something that is going to um, be seen outrightly by others. Just as long as it is something that is productive for you, something that um, inspires and sparks you to move and you to have a thought, that is what this energy is. We're, we're, we, we're coming out of this, even if this energy is energy of someone coming at you. We don't have time for that anymore. It's okay. Allow that person their feelings. Allow them their feelings. And you are allowed yours. But guess what? The only way that that person's emotions, feelings, or opinions can affect you is if you allow it. So... If you're not allowing it and you're keeping it pushing, keep it pushing. If this is you having been in this energy of um, seclusion and gaining um, um, understanding of having been through the battle and it's time for you to come out, then come on out, okay? It's time. It is time. All right. Let's do our Brian Frout Fairy Oracle. This is such a really, really good time to just be in divine energy, divine connection, speak with your guides, allow um, thoughts and ideas to come to you. And when they do come, ground them, you know, channel them into a song or into um, exercise or into whatever so that you can um, again ground that energy because there is a lot going on there's more to come if you think that you have um, awakened some spiritual gift now this it's going to intensify in the next couple of weeks so just be in your highest light, okay? Come into alignment with what you wish to have and desire and don't allow any lower negative energies to impact that. You don't have time. You have things to create. All right. All right. Let's get a Brian Proud Fairy card, please, God. Ooh. We have two. Hold on. Okay. We have two. We have, oh, the Bodacious Bodak. This is somebody getting in the business. This is um, masculine energy that is um, a bit overbearing when it comes to um, other people's movements and decisions. Uh, this could also be you being strategic and being observant of that energy or your energy and um, taking the proper measures and proper steps to um, decide what you are going to do. The other card that came out, ooh, and I had it in my hand upside down. This um, this energy came through yesterday as well. I want to say that this is, um, since it came out for us in the uh, reverse, this is releasing that 
releasing and forgiving that father, that meddling energy. Releasing and forgiving and not even paying attention to it or going in deeper and getting some release and understanding. I'm going to read this, but I want to see what our underlying is first. Our underlying is, ah, okay, oh, that no, that is a bit of a trickster, but also, you know, he's like, hey, we're going to try it and see. So let's read, because I, I, these are some cards that, that have really, really interesting explanations. We want to do the bodacious bodak first. All right. I'm telling you, I study these cards, but I I make sure that I am hearing before I give. Anyway, I'm not Gary. Explain myself. Um, the bodacious bodak meddling, tampering sabotage quote unquote helpful fixing order someone somewhere is meddling uninvited in the issue it may be you it may be someone else see if you can work out who it is and begin to untangle the messy web they have woven of confusion and disorder and misunderstanding. So much worse than our own natural disorder. <laughs> it will take great firmness to get this person to keep his sticky fingers out of your affairs or you to keep yours out of the affairs of others. The amount of tact you use in sorting this out is up to you, but the Bodak type person doesn't usually notice hints. Remember, whoever it is, oh uh, yeah, remember, whoever it is says they mean well. They may even believe that. It is very hard to believe that the Bodak's bad results are always quote unquote just an accident, as he insists. He may believe this, but we don't have to. The word sabotage comes to mind. If you don't want the Bodak hanging around looking for ways to help, make sure you don't leave things in the wrong place or dangle any loose ends. He might find some bodacious things to do with them. This is us, again, minding our own energy, minding our own business, being direct when someone is getting out of order. Let's read. We're going to find it. And since it came in the reverse, we'll read that first, okay? Um... Card number 47, the Oakman. Strength, ancient wisdom, depth. So, this is how it was presented, and then we'll present the medicine for it. The upright, okay? Reverse, the Oakman reverse. Turn the Oakman upside down, and you see different faces with other expressions the oak men wish to wish you to use your own perceptiveness and intuition in working out what they are saying in this position this is not a trick it is just a little exercise in stretching yourself and your vision enjoy That's the wrong one, but we're going to get to him too. So, this is letting it alone. Just leave it alone. You're being, someone is, okay. 
this is not meant to be of harm this is to unlock your potential and this could very well be you with god and god saying i'm telling you to look a little deeper i'm telling you to unmask this truth that you're not getting to and i'm trying to show it to you and you're still not getting it i'm trying to unlock your divinity and your power to you pay attention see what you are not seeing something or someone in your energy is not being of uh, good standing let's read the medicine of that goodness let's read the medicine of that this hurts my feelings I don't like when my friends are not in high vibration Okay. I don't like when I'm not in high vibration. I'm not in high vibration. I go sit my ass down. Um, this card depicts the strength and wisdom of age. It also reminds us that what we need to know, what is true, there, there is to be seen. What is truly there is to be seen. Cannot be discovered by a superficial glance and hasty reaction. In this reading, the oak men tell us to slow, to look slowly and deeply into the heart of the matter and to see past the superficiality of the surface. Consider the history of the situation in depth and learn from the past. Consult others with more experience than you have. Learn from the wisdom of the elders, both those available to you personally and those you encounter in books and elsewhere. In this matter, it would be wise to make your decisions after more pondering and study of the situation. Consider motivations in depth. Take action only after thorough deliberation. The oak men tell us that haste may, may be, at this moment, our worst enemy. Um, they also suggest we might learn a lot from trees. Consider the trees and their wisdom. Connect with a wise old one and ask for help. Okay? There is a lot of energy that needs to be cleared within us in order for us to be able to tap into what has to has to because um, if you are on a spiritual journey this is not something that it's um, something that you want to do because this journey is not easy this is something that you have to do so in order for you to move forward you have to be this inner be the energy of letting go and letting people have their their karma getting out of other people's business and paying attention to your own paper okay um letting order be order okay and then we have this kind of jack-in-the-box that's what I kind of what we kind of re represents to me as a jack-in-the-box it's a, he's a teacher but it, it's an unorthodox way of teaching someone rather than being direct I'm a direct person I don't get hints and shit like that so if you can't speak English and get it out I'm probably not gonna listen to you I'm not the one to test because I'm telling you I'll probably fail. Um, card number 26, Oh That Known. Trickster, creative chaos, wild gifts, breaking habits and patterns. Oh, that's an interesting one, huh? It's time to leap into the air, letting the earth turn beneath you and discover where you come down again. Um, reasonable risks are okay. Even unreasonable risks are probably okay. Use your head and look before you leap, of course. 
but do so understanding that the actual jump is likely to be very rewarding no guarantees but then there own there never really are any no matter how pretty the paper they may seem to be printed on and the uh, scroll work around the edges okay so what glitters is not always gold right Duh. okay um in a reading, the presence of that gnome tells us the forces of chaos are at work. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I've been feeling it. Um, things may not be as they seem and may very well be a good thing. Look for the unexpected. Find the opportunity in it and go for it. That's that, um, ooh, caught myself. seize the day, seize the opportunity, okay, um, look for the unexpected, find the opportunity, and go for it, he says that no matter how confused things may seem, there is a way to make them better, by, uh, but it is a creative way, one you haven't tried before, he says, think amazing new thoughts, so, you can do this if you want to um, clear something up or re-evaluate something it's time for that it's time but the thing is 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 don't stand over here like a fucking lurker if you have something to say something to add from another perspective why be an asshole about it Take the leap of faith and do it directly instead of being in this energy of a cipher. Yeah, we like ciphers, poets and, 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 and rappers and whatnot. Yeah, we like that. That's wonderful. We love all the metaphors and, and, and whatnot. But there is a time for those things and then there is a time to take action. Okay? Knowing that you have fought the good fight knowing that you have sown the seed of blood sweat and tears knowing that no matter what happens no matter who's trying to um come into your space and disrupt your energy no we're gonna shed some light on it and we're gonna keep it pushing because we have been through this but we have we now have things to do so if this is you with a fire sign or an air sign, um, direct communication and uh, earnest, okay? All right, Nuggets, I love you. If you need to get in contact with me for a personal, please contact. Um, look for the information down in the description box below. I send you all blessings and light. Take care.